guys, so today I want to do a kind of a different type of video and show you one of my actual report sheets filled in and how it actually looks like. And so I'm just going to jump in and get started. Obviously, I crossed out any patient information and things like that that could identify this patient. So um, yeah, so I'm just going to get started. So at top, I have my patient's name, age, code status, allergies, and then I have their admitting diagnosis when they are admitted in history, and I accidentally flipped these around. So this was the admitting diagnosis across the, or admitting um, date, I crossed that out. And um, yeah, so I accidentally flipped those, but you can see why this patient was here, and then their history, and I write any things like leading up, like if they were brought in, you know, maybe by ambulance, or if they were brought, uh, anything pertinent, I guess you can say. And then I go down here and I have the um, patient's vitals, kind of what they're trending in, um, if they had a temp, or any of those things. Um, Neuro-wise, this can be you know, more specific if they're a neuro patient, but this patient happened to be completely alert-oriented, so I just put that they followed commands. Um, Cardiac-wise, this was the cardiac rhythm. Um, this was an old diagnostic test. Um, result from you know previous test and so that's ejection fraction was 15% so I put that in the cardiac part um, respiratory wise so I have vent settings on here so this patient was on a ventilator and then got extubated so I crossed that out and wrote these things over here this patient was gonna be on CPAP at night um, right now they're well, not right now <laughs> but they were on two liters nasal cannula when they're extubated and they were gonna put this patient on BiPAP at night, but then um, this patient brought in their CPAP, so there's that. Um, GI-wise, I have their diet. You know a lot of patients in the ICU are NPO, but um, this patient was NPO and then they got extubated, so they were on a cardiac diet and had a one liter fluid restriction. They had some nausea. This was um, OG tube, low intermittent suction. They had that, and obviously when they took the um, got extubated, that it was taken out. GU-wise, patient had fully increased urine output. Sometimes I'll actually put an amount like between you know 200 and 250 or less than 30 or urine is amber. I might put more specific details, but on this day, I just didn't. Um, no skin issues. This is where I'd put if they had wounds, pressure ulcers, any of those things. Lines, um, right femoral times three. This is a central line and there's three lumens. So I put times three and this was their IV. So right forearm 20 gauge, left AC 20 gauge, right AC 20 gauge. Just put those in. Uh, meds. This patient was on a dobutamine drip at 2.5 mics and so I just put that there. They were on propofol at 40 but crossed that off and they were getting Zosin and Vanco for antibiotics. This is where I put any drips or pertinent meds. I don't put any, I don't put their scheduled meds. I'll get to that unless it's important for some reason. Um, imaging, these were um, things they had, and usually I'll write in results, but um, I didn't get results for this or didn't write them down, whatnot. So, and then I put labs down here, and so I just write down the daily labs or any new labs, and then I will. This is actually incorrect. The billy was not that accidentally uh, <laughs> made that mistake, but anyways. So um, I usually put a down arrow if it was down trending or up arrow if it's up like trending upwards. So the INR was 3.6, which is down. Um, but then later in that shift, it was up to 6.9. So I drew a little arrow to show like, oh, that's next. And then the potassium was a little low. So I put a check mark when it's been replaced. And then we did a redraw and it was 4.2. So I just kind of, eh, 4.2. Down here are the um, doctor's name. CCM is critical care manager. That just means the intensivist is following. And then I had nephrology and hospitalist and I just crossed off the name so you guys can see. These are any notes, maybe things that I didn't know um, where to put them up there. So this patient had two units of FFP, lived independently, um, the mom was there, they had them strange, but when they got extubated, those were taken off. Uh, and then over on this side, this is my like schedule that I had. So I started eight o'clock and that's when my assessments do. Um, this is something specific to the hospital that's due by nine, so I cross that off. And then I go and I write all of my meds, so um, or any tasks I had. So this patient had to be admitted, so I still had to do that um, work, charting work. And then these are the meds they had: Vanco and famotidine. Um, this is a mag redraw, so I just I we draw our own labs if they're central lines and stuff. So I just put on. I think there's a K redraw. Yep, right there. Um, any lab draws that I may have to do, um, and. Yeah, I go through. These are some numbers extensions. I was trying to call the blood bank, and everyone was giving me different extensions, and none of them worked. And then finally, one of them worked. And then down here, um, 
So provider notification. So this is where I would write if I talked to a doctor, if I hadn't charted it yet. Um, I use this off and on, kind of depending, but this is something I needed to talk to the doctor about. And so I write down little code word thingies that I need to talk. And so I had to talk to the doctor about Serial Labs. And then up here, this is random stuff I scribbled because I needed to ask um, one of our educators about them. So I just wrote things down. So that's what that is. But overall, that is my report sheet all filled out, all HIPAA proof. So no information is given away. And I wanted to show you guys this. If you guys are interested in having this report sheet for yourself, I have a link to that. I'll put it down below. It is on my Etsy shop. So you can go and check that out. I have a night shift version and a day shift version. So go and check that out. But thanks for watching and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.